Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tal Fury. All right, after about five fucking months of waiting and waiting, I actually am going to make this video now because it was the final Smash video. So now we just wait for the game. I, for one, am super fucking excited. We are going to be getting Smash Brothers Ultimate on the 7th of December. And it's been a long time coming. Actually, um, like I said, a few months ago, uh, during CEO, I didn't find out until like the last minute that there was actually going to be a demo of Smash. And I was already hyped. I actually cut in line, so, bitch. <laughs> and I was able to play with my buddy JJ. Now, of course, he done bodied my ass because I haven't played Smash in like a year and some change. But I will say that the actual gameplay is a lot faster. I don't know if Smash Wii U was 60 frames. I couldn't really tell. But now that I know that it is, I can feel the difference or I think it's just because of all the characters are definitely tweaked, especially Fire Emblem characters. Those motherfuckers are faster now. Like, when they do their fucking, like, you know, uh, I can't remember the moveset, I just know when they're red, you know, when the blade turns red, that's when you know you're doing that fucking swipe, swipe, swipe shit. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. All you fucking Martha and Lucina mains. I was actually going to make this uh, video shortly after CEO, but after when I found out they were gonna have multiple Smash videos and what's going on with the story and characters and stuff like that. I, it didn't seem appropriate to keep making a Smash video every time. It, I think it's just a waste of my time and also a waste of yours. So we're just going to kind of go down the line. It is going to be a long ass video. So I hope you have fucking popcorn because we're going to talk about some shit. All right. So the most recent fucking thing before we even get into all the stuff that we were seeing in previous Smash videos is that fake Grinch leak. Now, I actually didn't even know what was going on. Everyone was saying, oh man, the Grinch leak. All right, did you hear about the Grinch leak? <laughs> I really didn't know what was going on, but I was just like, what's happening? It's like, apparently they have like some advertisement that leaked out. This dude lost his fucking job, apparently. Uh, but it was actually leaking all the characters necessary for these, uh, for this new Smash video, the last one that was coming out. And I, I really didn't pay attention to it because at the end of the day, leaks are leaks and i just kind of like, I don't fucking care. If it's not the direct, I don't fucking care. I'm just like, because to be honest, I feel like it just ruins it. It ruins the surprise. But once the actual video started going, I mean, some people were like, oh man, it's really happening. It's, it's really, it's really fucking happening. And then they just get dunked when Incineroar comes out. So it was just like absolutely fucking beautiful for me. Uh, but once the second video started coming up, this is when shit just started getting really fucking interesting. For one, Echo characters. It, what, a, what a fancy way of fucking saying, you know, clones, nigga. Fuck. And the first one they brought up was fucking my waifu, fucking Daisy. <coughs> Daisy. Like, I didn't even expect Daisy to be a character in Smash. I mean, like, yeah, she's got a similar shit to Peach, but boy, I can't wait. I hope she has, like, you know, a Sarasaland fucking bat that comes out, in which she does a little special knock home run, bitch. And so, like, Peach's little fucking pan, frying pan just hits you across the head and shit. Yo, I can't fucking wait. So, uh, here I actually have my Daisy Amiibo, which I finally get to fucking open. Yes! Damn, I fucking like obliterated the package. <laughs> That's how much my hype is for this fucking game. Well, mostly just for Daisy. And also, yeah, it was kind of funny because my uh, my niece's birthday was actually uh, a while back before CEO, and I saved this thing for a while, but I actually was able to get a fucking cookie of Daisy at a birthday party. Now, it's been about like uh, five months, so I might finally open this bitch and eat it right on camera. Why am I doing that? It's a lot of damn ribbon. Oh my god, why? Yeah, it's already broken in half, so what the fuck? Isn't she cute? Oh, well you probably can't see it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna eat it right now. Mmm, -mm. yummy. <laughs> nice on. Now they've explained what's actually in the game from the music, the stages, uh, how the selection screen works, local and wireless gameplay. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, let's actually get to the meat of what we're here about actually. Some motherfucking characters. 
Like I said, Daisy, I'm fucking maining. No fucking question. Though Peach is my main, or will always be my main, no matter what. I, I'm not gonna lie, this is a very good addition. I'm just so thrilled to have my other waifu in it. And it's just, it's nice to complete the package, you know? I'm just like, and, and to be honest, I feel like Daisy has a much thicker booty than Peach's. Fight me. And it's something that I'm just like, you know, I don't mind if she fucking, you know, hits me with her booty. Oh, yeah. Daisy, do you love me? Are you riding? Can you hit me from the back of your side B? Cause I want ya, and I need ya, and I'm down for some commies, peachy. Do you love me? Let's be realsies. I'm gonna dump you and drive Miss Daisy. I don't want ya, and I don't need ya, and Daisy got a bigger booty. Now, okay, this was already a given. Once we found out that the Smash logo was on the first video, when the Inklings were going around doing their whatever squid niggas do, it was just like, okay, Inkling is here, that's great. Um, I think it's good. They have, they're very technical. We were able to actually play a little bit. I, I didn't play Inkling when I was actually at CEO, but uh, my friend was able to, and they're very versatile. And the good thing is that they're not cheap as fuck. So you can actually, uh, cause normally if you duck and try to recharge your ink and shit like that, apparently you can kick them out of the actual, like um, when they're recharging or where they in the, uh, the ink. Which I'm like, holy shit, okay, good. They can actually get knocked out of that cover. Cause that would be like, wouldn't that be invincible? Or would you have to down smash like aerial, whatever, just to get out? So it's really odd, but I, I like the way how they are. Okay, uh, Ridley? Okay, when everybody was surprised, Ridley. I mean, like this was the most requested. I know that Bayonetta was requested and I guess it was like the number one, but Ridley was on everybody's minds. Because the thing is that, you know, Nintendo has a lack of villains. So it was like, holy shit. And, and of course, Sakurai said it before. He was like, Ridley's too big. You know, that's it. Ridley is too damn big. And when we saw it, we were just like, I, I can't believe he's here. Like, holy shit. Oh, we, we're we gonna get a good smash if he is here. So, and he is a, he's a dirty bitch. Like seeing niggas fight with him, he was available in the actual like uh, demo, but he is a beast. Like I, I will not want to fuck with that. If someone knows how to time that shit right, it really can be a son of a bitch. All right, and he's a heavy too. So get ready for that. Okay, so I was already spoiled. Thanks, Keo. Uh, when the when the other video came out, it was just like, oh shit, you know, what's going on with this one? And it, I, we all like got spoiled about it because, like I said, I don't like leaks, and I tried not to get myself spoiled. But people sometimes they just open their mouths, and you can't help it. But I found out about Simon Belmont, and I was like, oh fuck, man, fuck, and just like, all right, I, I need to see his move set. I see what it looks like, and he is looking dope. He's got that Conan the Barbarian shit. Like, fucking just, oh, like the, the eight, the directional of his fucking whip, that was perfect. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I was just like, okay, we got that. And I was watching this at work at the time, too. The next one, however, got me sweating. Because as much as Simon Belmont, yes, he is very iconic. He is part of the uh, Nintendo family. You know, we, you know, all that good shit. When Richter popped out, I almost screamed at my job. So I'm covering my mouth like I'm getting dicked down by like, you know, a fucking group of gangbangers. Like, it was just like, oh, oh, I can't. <laughs> and like, and it's funny because of course our cubicles are like, it was individual. I'm at a new job now, so I don't have that opportunity. But my God, man, trying to hold my fucking screams was just ridiculous. And just seeing him, it's just a palace swap, it's an echo fighter, but I'm like, done. Uh, Martha and Peach, get on down that list. Fucking Richter Belmont is number two right after Daisy. Oh, God, God damn. So I was just like, and it's funny because when I actually saw this, I like watching react videos of other people's stuff and how they felt about the characters and shit like that. And 
I was really kind of angry because some of them was like, oh yeah, 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 Simon Bell, my blah, blah. But when Richter came out, someone was like, who the fuck is that guy? I'm like, oh my god, I, I don't want to unsubscribe, fuck. And I was just like, and one of them, I, I, I know, so I'm not going to tell any of these YouTubers' names because whatever, but the thing is that they've quoted Castlevania stuff from Cynthia Knight, you know, and some things from Rondo of Blood, and they have the audacity to not know who the fuck the character was. I'm like, you know the meme, you know the saying from this, that part of the game, but you don't know what the character is from? Oh, fuck off. Fuck the hell off with that. It's just like, I mean, I'm one to talk, but fuck, man. Ugh. Dark Samus. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. That one was also highly requested. Like I said, lack of villains. Let's see, and floaty character. I don't like that. Floaty characters are hard to get. And just like, I mean, they're, they're good to match up with, but boy, if you get someone that's good with a float and that recovery, you better be scared, nigga. King K fucking rule. Okay. That was a nice fucking troll. Out of, out of the, all the Smash videos, that was the most enjoyable. Put a fucking smile on my face when you see Donkey Kong getting trolled by King Dedede. And it was just like, oh shit, like, that was, that was funny as fuck. But King K. Rool was also a very high-listed, wanted character. Like I said, another fucking lack of villains. But he was also heavy, and he's fast. If you've not seen his actual, like, uh, his movesets or how he played from, I think it was E3? Or was it Tokyo Game Show? I can't remember, don't quote me on it. But it was just like... This nigga's fast for a heavy nigga, and he can fucking deflect. Oh boy, we're fucked. And the best thing is that we've actually mentioned this in podcasts before, way before, like four years or five years ago. A uh, buddy of ours, uh, Mr. Ronan, but when we talked about it, he was a guest star, and he wanted King K. Rule so hard. He was like, I don't play Smash, but if King K. Rule's in that bitch, boy, I will main that bitch first day. When it rolled, we had six or seven people tag him so fast. And I was like, yeah, welcome to the community, nigga. And he welcomed. He was welcomed with open arms. I was like, well, look at look at that shit. King K. Rule. Isabel. Hey, Isabel. I'm not gonna lie, I just... <laughs> it just... That was unexpected. Now, at the end of the day, it's still a Nintendo character. Anything can fucking happen. They can put in anything, in any body in there that's a Nintendo property or was a part of Nintendo family, stuff like that. I, as much as I'm just like, uh, I feel like it was a wasted spot. Not exactly. It's unwanted, but it's welcomed because one of two things. It actually brings out people who play Animal Crossing religiously and be a part of the Smash community. There's some people that don't even play fighting games are just like, I'm gonna go play Smash because Isabel's in the fucking game. And it was just like, for her? Like, because everyone associates her with being all fucking nice and, you know, doing all this shit and it's a fucking delicate flower that needs to be fucking protected and... Yeah. Oh, oh, look at it. Don't hit her. Look at that face. Don't oh, hit her. Fine. What are you She's doing? <laughs> nice in. I absolutely hate that kind of shit. So, yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, Isabel, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It, it, was, it was nice. It was very wholesome because I guess they wanted to, uh, you know, talk about the new Animal Crossing that will be coming out soon. And then there was Tom Nook, which I believe would be a better choice because he likes to stun on niggas with catch and shit. I actually would like that. In all honesty, I think Isabel is a joke character. But hey, welcome to the family. I'ma beat those bitches. All right, so these fucking three, I know I mentioned one earlier, but oh my God, this was insane. So of course, like Ryu was already a fucking like, oh God, I didn't expect this. Ryu's in the fucking game. Ryu's in Smash? Okay, yeah, yeah, and Street Fighter was on Super Nintendo, so why the fuck not, right? But then it's just like, oh, we gotta get Ken. We, we gotta get fucking Ken. I don't care if he's his own character. 
or if he's his own Echo Fighter, just, just fucking put him in the game. And they did. The first thing you fucking saw, and some people were really late to see him there. As if you couldn't get the red gi, then that was your damn problem. Some people thought it was another person in the game, but we'll get to that later. Incineroar. Huh. Very wow. Like, I love how they made a lot of references to, like, fucking Street Fighter and, uh, Zangief when it was like, yeah, it's more like a red cyclone. I'm like, this nigga plays Geef, boy. Now, okay, you want my honest opinion? I love Halucha from the Pokemon X and Y series. Halucha is that flying fighting type. And it's just so, that, that bird is a precious boy to me. So I really wanted him to be in the game more so than Incineroar, but because Nintendo and also Japanese people Relevancy is key. So in Cineroar, since he is the newest one, you know, firefighting, yeah, he's going to be in it. Now the thing about it is that, yeah, I didn't get Halucha, but I, I highly welcome fucking in Cineroar. He looks stupid fucking fun, and he's a wrestler. So Halucha, wrestler, and Cineroar wrestler, you know what? I got a wrestling grappling person in here. And everybody loved who it was, and it was funny because once he popped in in that last video, a lot of people like, oh my god, was the Grinch, the, the Grinch leak was fake, holy shit! And it's like, yeah nigga, it was fucking fake, dumbass nigga. And it's just like, you know, and he poses a lot, the good thing is that you can cancel out of it. So, yeah, wow, uh, Incineroar, well done, well fucking done. Where do you go with this one? You know, at the end of the day, I love when Sakurai puts in the work. Now, Here's the thing, he, I think he's already done enough. Once I saw Belmont, I was like, you don't need to do any more Sakurai. You've proven yourself to be awesome, all right? Just, we're done, we're done. But Piranha Plant to be free in the limited time and offer, that plant, as much as it fucking fooled niggas hard, it just rolled in and just sweeped the leg. They were done. And it was just like, this might be, even though it's a joke character, I think it might be the most versatile one out of every new character that came in. I don't know if we're gonna be ready, but some niggas gonna call themselves, our, uh, was it, Audrey 2. So, get ready for that stop. It's gonna be so weird. It's almost like, I guess, even like with a joke character, it's almost like being the Dan Hibiki of Smash is like you get defeated by a fucking plant. What what do you do after that? Do you retire? So yeah, uh, it was funny. It is highly just like what the fuck. But I cannot wait to see who gets the main this. I can't wait to play, fucking play this character. <laughs> We're gonna talk about the deconfirmed list or AKA the assist trophies. That last video had people upset and mad, depressed, and I ate that shit up. <laughs> Like, I like Shadow, but when he was first placed in, it was done. Like, I was like, this is not gonna, this is not gonna go well. Sakurai is going to just, <laughs> like, fucking just murk, 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 line him up. Like, oh wow, that, that, that was, that was a very heavy dealing there. Now, when Isaac was shown, I'm not gonna lie, I actually was kind of upset. I was like, ooh, and it wasn't for me, because I got, I like Golden Sun, but a lot of niggas that I know love them some fucking Isaac. And when they saw him as a assist trophy, they, <laughs> their hearts sunk. I felt, it, it's like a, the fucking Star Wars movie with fucking Yoda is going, oh, huh. I just felt like millions of people uh, you know, crying out, and then all of them silenced. Yeah, that deconfirming list, uh, that was not enjoyable to watch. <laughs> but at the same time, absolutely enjoyable because it got some people to be like, they're not here, please be quiet. Now, even though when he said in the recent video that this was the last roster, you know, before the game released, it was like, oh man, that's it? You know, a lot of people fucking complained that, oh, that's not enough characters. Nigga, it's over 70. That's not enough for you? Like, so when he actually threw out that uh, Fighter's Pass and everything being $24.99, and it was gonna take him a year and some change to be able to get those complete, there is still hope 
for a lot of these characters. Now, another thing for real is that I really want one character, and that man is... Put Goku in the game, man! The fuck? That's right, nigga. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let's talk about the elephant in the fucking room. I'm just saying, man. Goku's the greatest fucking fighter. He should be in fucking Smash. Period. Ain't no question, nigga. You do realize that Goku's not a Nintendo property? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you scared. You scared that he gonna roll up on you and stun. I'm not afraid, um, I just don't want him in the game. Greatest fucking fighter. He know how to key blast, he can transform, beams all over the place. I just feel like he's just not a part of it. He, he, he shouldn't be. There's a lot of reasons why. No, 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 don't give me that bullshit, don't give me that bullshit. Mm. Nigga, you ain't knowing what you're talking about, man. You just scared. You just fucking scared. I'm just saying, man, if you're gonna throw them reasons out and shit, like, I mean, why is Ryu in the game, huh? Why you why, why Ken in the game, huh? Them Street Fighter fucking fighters, huh? I mean, you're like... Because both of those characters are from Street Fighter 2, okay? Yeah, even though there was one before it. Street Fighter 2 on Super Nintendo. Yes, they were on Genesis, but they were also on Super Nintendo. Big fucking reason why they're in there. And it's pronounced Ryu. Are you fucking kidding me? We've been saying it for fucking years and you still can't say it? That's like saying manga as manga. What the fuck's wrong with y'all? Looking at you. You as well. You still scared though, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's just like, look, he got so many modes. He got so many fucking, like, you know, got Kaioken. He got fucking Kamehameha. He got, like, the fucking instant transmission. He got so many fucking moves. He got all this fucking shit. He got the baddest bitch. He got the baddest squad. He gonna do all this fucking shit. He gonna roll up on you. Beat your ass. You, that doesn't make any fucking sense. You just not ready for a Goku main to get into Smash and beat your ass. I'm talking like roll you all over the floor, just jerk it all over your face. Oh my god, I'm so scared about Goku mains. It's, I'm not gonna lie. You just don't want that Goku head meat right on your face. Just embarrassed. Shut up. That you're gonna get fucking shut 0 and up, 2. Shut up. Get oh the fuck god. out of my face. You don't know shit, nigga. You don't know shit, nigga. Fuck you, man. What? Like, do you even hear yourself? <laughs> stupid. This nigga's stupid, alright? This motherfucker is stupid. Who, who, who are you talking to? There's no one else in my house except for you. Hey guys. Hey man. What you doing here? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm an Isabel main. Oh. Yeah, are you ready for Smash? I'm really excited. I've, I've never played the game. Um, I really can't wait. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, can't wait to play. I'm beat your ass, but welcome to the team. Hold on, hold on. You fucking hate Isabel. Yeah, he actually really makes a good point. You don't like Isabel. Yeah, as I said before, uh, I don't really care for the character, but guess what? Nintendo property. Nah, 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 nigga. Nah, nah. You playing? You fucking don't be a duck. Don't be a duck, dog. Dude, you're you're fucking getting Dragon Ball Fighters for the fucking Switch. All right. He's already there. You're gonna get five to six Gokus in that game. And you're not satisfied by that? Nah, you just afraid. You just want to just watch. She gonna whoop your ass. Everybody gonna whoop your uh. ass. I hope that they all roll up on you. Fucking take out their sausage meat. Put it, put it in your mouth in public. I hope they shit on your ass. I hope they shit on your chest. You know what? I hope they shit all over you. Fuck Time you, nigga. <laughs> As I was saying, I think the perfect match for Smash is Chrono from Chrono Trigger. It makes a lot of sense. Now with this DLC pack, it's actually, there's, there's still hope for a lot of characters to come in. I hopefully, I would like for them to actually have a Smash Ballad again. And just like, I know people are gonna slap Goku's fucking name in there because they're all basic bitches. All of them. If you want Goku and Smash, you're a fucking idiot. But, um, I'm not gonna lie, like, you vote for who you want in there. Uh, even though, like I said, don't care about Gino, but if he was in because of the Smash ballot, fine, he's in it. 
Um, if fucking Sora. A lot of people want Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Now, granted, that one actually has some kind of fucking backing to it because for quite a while he was on handhelds. He was on handhelds quite a bit for Kingdom Hearts. Uh, the Nintendo, I think it was the GBA, Game Boy Advance, uh, the Nintendo DS, and the Nintendo 3DS. So, yeah, I, he has a higher chance, and yes, he's also another Square Enix fucking character. I mean, Cloud is in here, and Cloud was not, Cloud was not even part of Nintendo. That was actually supposed to happen, and then all this Nintendo Sony drama happened. You should know that. Look that up in Google. It's all over the damn place. But Sora makes sense. Geno still makes sense. I don't care, but like I said, I know I keep repeating myself. But I highly believe for Chrono Trigger, it would be the best choice. I'm just like, yeah, you want a Kira Tariyama figure in there? Put Chrono in the game. Like, he has an array of moves. And I, I, I think it would just kind of do him dirty if he wasn't included. And the one thing I'm going to actually get about is just the fact that, I'm sorry, Goku is just, this shouldn't be in the fucking game. He's going to be, he's all over the other fucking place, but I think the one reason, the one fucking reason he should not be in there, he is from manga, an original, like, you know, st well, I wouldn't say original. He is from Dragon Ball, something that was in manga form, then became anime later, then also put into a video game. All the characters in Smash are all from video games. So why people want Goku in it is just, it's just noise. It's absolute retarded noise. And, it's like, and some people are doing it to troll, and some people that are actually my friends are legitimately wondering why he is not included in the game. I don't fucking get it. But the one thing, it's like it was actually on par with the Waluigi thing. Now, at the end of the day, Waluigi's there as an imaginary friend. Prove me wrong, because like, I'm sorry, Wario was lonely, so what, what, what the fuck do you want me to say? The one thing that made sense in Nintendo Wii U's version for Smash is that, oh wow, well, Bayonetta should definitely be in it. Bayonetta should be definitely in the game. That's 100% of Nintendo property now, so she should be included. She was also started as a video game. Uh, now the thing is about it is that, yeah, she was the number one Top pick. Everyone's excited. I was excited. I'm still excited now that she's included because I love Bayonetta. But the thing is, is that yes, she's overpowered, but that's not the character's fault. A lot of people don't get that. It, it created a lot of fucking tension. You don't like the character is because the devs didn't do any patches to fix her. So you're getting mad of a fictional character that's too overpowered. No, it's just that they decided to drop it because the Wii U was just terrible. That's the reason why you hate her, is because she wasn't fixed, so you're gonna put it out on her. Like she's gonna fucking listen to your goddamn cries. Now, the thing is, let, let's say if it was flipped. So let's say if Waluigi was actually uh, the most top pick for fucking Smash Ballot, and he was in the game, and then he was overpowered. He had a lot of movesets. You still would bitch because the Smash community is just a bunch of baby dicks. Like just whiny crybabies who don't fucking bathe. And it's, it's so ridiculous. It's like, I love the community that I'm in, but y'all niggas whine too damn much. I mean, we got over fucking 60, 70 characters. You still complain that you don't get what you want. I'm like, nigga, there's so many choices. Like, Fuck! And I just don't get it, but like, if the tables were turned, and it, let's just take out Bayonetta out of all of it. Just, just take Bayonetta out of the whole damn thing. If Waluigi was in that same situation, get bitch. If it was Goku, God, for help will freeze the fuck over. If he was included as well, and he had the same situation, or if he was overpowered, underpowered, you still bitch! So I don't see a problem. God damn, man. It's just like, you don't really take it and dissect it and be like, okay, well, what if it was like this? Would you still complain about it? And yes, you would. You fucking would. I'm, just, I'm trying to remember if it was the actual like uh, CEO that happened or if it was under Evo that it happened. So I can't remember. It was a Smash Finals. Two 16-year-old or 17-year-old fucking kids 
were in the finals and the guys just sat there with Bayonetta and they were talking it up. Now of course the community hates Bayonetta, boo nigga, shut the fuck up, you don't know how to fucking face Bayonetta, you're trash. And it was just like, oh my god, like how, how dare they disrespect by just sitting there for two minutes. Now they got back to actually playing and shit like that. But of course that community uh, for those kids, the guy actually was just like, you know, flipping off people and footage and he actually made a Twitter saying, oh, Twitter post saying, yeah, I'm sorry for my attitude and blah blah blah. I'm like, nigga, you ain't sorry, cause you knew what the fuck you did. You know, it's not like you were nine and under and you were flipping off birds and doing stupid shit like that. It's just like, take some fucking responsibility. Can you own up to your shit, please? But it's funny, I can't blame them for what they did because the Smash community is just like that. It was just, <laughs> it was just the children that was. It was just a spawn of how toxic this fucking community is. And let me tell you about the Melee community. Oh my god, the Melee community is just a bunch of asshats. When you get the, like, you know, the top tier, always in top 10 for fucking Melee saying, hey, you know, it's like, I don't really, I don't really care for Smash Ultimate. We'll always have Melee. Melee will always be here. I'm like, you're the fucking problem. And the thing is, Sakura is actually looking at you, actually doing a lot of tweaks and shit to, pander to you and you won't even take a, a look you can't even won't even touch it won't even fucking play it and I, I'm not gonna lie I actually give respect to Mewtwo King because Mewtwo King he's he actually went into doing Smash you know Smash 4 and I was like alright cool one of the gods finally moved from their throne and kind of went to the next community and he, he does pretty well and can't whip his ass like that but you know I respect him for actually going and trying it out and he actually likes it. But Mango and everybody else is just like, oh yeah, I guess Melee is a shit because it's just so technical and uh, there's so many things that Sakurai placed in and blah blah blah. And just like, it doesn't have wave dashing and da -da 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 -da. And it's like, oh my god, you're talking about fucking exploits in the fucking game. There's nothing technical. It's not even a fighting game. It's just a party game that you're just masking to be a fighting game. What what, it's, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just like, man, man, fuck that community. It's just like, that that other section is just like, and it's funny, I'm the old nigga here, and there's a lot of young ones, like 25 and younger. It's like, god damn. It's like, I let this shit go when I was in my early, tw like, you know, late teens, early 20s. Like, Jesus Christ, get off this fucking game. It is not that damn great, come on. But yeah, man, like, and the thing is that what really got me is that I, it was one of them, and I think I might be talking about the same person, seeing that the actual, uh, uh what was it? it was a Kirby Dreamland uh, arena. And it looked really good, because he remade it, it looks wonderful, there's a lot more colors to it, and he was like, oh, it doesn't look that great. Oh, our, the stages in Melee look much better. I'm like, nigga, you are jaded as fuck. You can't even see beyond 128 bit. <laughs> Nigga, you stuck. Now, what I was actually surprised about is the fact that uh, a lot of people wanted the story mode. I mean, Brawl, as fucked up as it was, Subspace Emissary was really good. It was really thought out and it was just like, uh, it was an enjoyable story mode. Uh, now, even though this is not called Sp Subspace Emissary, it's Subspace Emissary 2. That's what it is. Even though it's called World of Light, that's what it is. And I was really surprised. I was like, oh my god, this is really looking beautiful. And they pulled an Infinity War because boy, niggas were getting beat. Like, god damn. Like, Shulk couldn't even do his fucking That So Raven and save the day. Nigga got fucked. But it was really funny. Um, Kirby is, of course, the last person to survive, which, you know, that happened because it's Sakura's fucking character. Of course, bitch. And I, I'm not gonna lie, just fucking, just absolutely wonderful what they were doing with it. I mean, I really don't have much to say, because, yeah, the story mode is the story mode. But, like, uh, wow, dude. What really got people messed up is that while the story mode was happening, out of everything that was, like, the shocker, is that every- I mean, I was shocked. It was like, oh shit, they gave- they gave Martha an English voice. We were thought he was just gonna speak in subtitles. So, yeah, here it is. I mean, I'm just really surprised. I'm shocked that it's basically just here, and uh, I can't wait to play it. I can't wait to see what the story mode is. But I, what I really hope that does come back, because I know they were talking about spirits and everything like that, um, and what they do with it and everything. They've made the game more accessible to people who are casual. So if your difficulty is not that high or whatever, you can make it to where you're stronger. If someone's more experienced, they can have the neutral or lower. So it's one of those. So I love how they, you know, level the playing field. But man, oh man, uh, the one thing I would really like back is the custom 
land, like you know, like making custom uh, levels. So, and we have a thing called Death Punchies. I can't wait to make Death Punchies EX. That's going to be a very fun having game, especially because all you're dealing with Little Max. So I might change it up just a little bit, but that's going to be something really fun to do. But uh, that's it, guys. I'm not going to lie. Like it's uh, it's going to be a wild ride, but I'm exceedingly excited. It's going to come out, like I said, December 7th. It's going to be hella fun. I'm just happy that we finally get a new Smash. And I mean, shoot, I might not even, because I'm Holiday Matsuri is coming up, and I might not even be in costume because I'm all going to be talking about Smash all fucking weekend. I'm going to be in somebody's hotel room, and we're just going to be having a laugh, you know, because these fucking characters are going to be, like, off the chain and shit. We're some new shit that we don't even know yet. But what do you guys think about the end of the day? Uh, place your comments down below, and, uh, yeah, uh, so, yeah, sorry for the lack of videos. I've been actually doing a lot more streaming on my Twitch channel, shit like that. I've been doing it almost every day. I know I've been slowing down because there's a lot of other commission work that I'm doing right now, but hopefully this uh, video will get done very well before the actual game comes out. It's gonna be it's gonna be hectic, but hopefully I'll get everything done. But I'm glad you guys came in for the long ass fucking ride. Uh, I mean, it's just me. I'm it's my lonely ass self doing this kind of shit, editing and filming and all that good shit. But uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. If you like what you see, follow. If you really like what you see, you know, hit that subscribe and shit like that. You you definitely should because I'll be trying to do a little bit more. It's like yeah, I have a real time job and shit like that, but. If you want me to do more videos, show your respect and just come on in and be like, hey man, I like what you're doing, keep it up. Or be like, hey nigga, you shit. And I'll still keep fucking doing it because that's what niggas do. All right, anyways, man, this is Tal Fury. You guys have a wonderful evening or day whenever you're watching this. And I will see you on the next video. Peace. Oh yeah, wow, holy shit. I forgot, uh, he's still frozen. Give it a moment, here. Glorious. You guys, see you on the next video. Peace. You still ass. <laughs>